rest our piece. All bent up. All right, well, let's, <clears throat> let's get it put in. So that's our piece right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it right here in this in that block. So there's our first piece, like so. Okay, just like so. Um, now, what you would do, though, is you would actually slide that piece in from the side. Um, but you know, we're just making it easy on ourselves because there's no coil here. So you see, we're lined up over there, and we're lined up right there. So that's our three inch offset. So now we get to continue uh, with our measurements. Now, remember if you've been sticking with this series all this time, you know now that the side isn't, we don't have to make a flange, it's gonna be raw. And remember what we said about raw is there's no flange on it. So let's get set up and get the measurements for that. We're gonna start with this back side, with this left hand side of the furnace first and then we'll go do a right hand and then we'll make our front all right so now we're ready to make our side measurement so all we got to do with the side is we have to measure from the top of the S lock um, take our folding tongs and bend this down a little bit to kind of make it straight like so and then what we can do is we can lay our level across the top, like so, and then, uh, then we'll get our measurement. And our measurement, if I can get over here and check it to see, um, we gotta put the, the level right there and you can't see it because it's uh, actually six inches. So it would be six inches from here to the bottom of the coil, and I'm just using a level uh, to get that mark. Because remember, there's, there, should, there should be a coil up here. So that's six inches. Okay? So let's get our little pin out and start doing our little line. So, um, do that there, and the top, stick back further than the bottom, right? Okay, and then uh, let's see what the bottom measurement is. bottom measurement is 20 inches. So the bottom is 20 inches. Alright, now our coil, our coil measurement is 21 inches. So it's not on there, but we, we know it's 21 inches. Okay, so that's 21. There you go. And then, really, now we still need to do an offset, which that's really easy to get, because all we have to do is just measure from here to our wall. <clears throat> and that is two and a half inches. So we have a two and a half inch offset from from the top to the bottom. So there you go. So that's two and a half inches. Alright, so we know that we have to have uh, six inches, right? So we need to <clears throat> start with our centerpiece here. So, um, so one plus six is seven and an eight, because remember, our bottom flange, our center part, and then our top flange. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Uh, one, seven, and eight. 
Okay. Now, it's not really, getting this measurement is not going to be really that difficult. <coughs> Actually, really going to be really, really, really simple. It looks difficult, but it's not. All right, so let's, I'm talking about after we draw our lines, and we go try to do our offset. Really, really simple. Alright, so that's our, that's our lines there. Okay, now, here's the deal. Our top is 21 inches. And our top is totally against the wall. We know that, right? So we go 21 inches. Alright, so that's our line right there. 21 inch. Okay, now our bottom. Here's where it's going to be really, really super simple to get our two and a half inch offset. We measure two and a half inches in because that's where our furnace starts. Remember our wall is back here, our furnace is right there at two and a half inches. And then we go over to, um, was it 20 inches? Remember, measure twice, cut once. So, 20 inches. Alright, so all we have to do then is go over here. 20 and, tw and 2 and a half is 22 and a half. And there you go. That's your little offset for your side piece. Simple, simple, simple. And you just make your mark right there. The only thing that we messed up on is our black lines are going to be out, which is no big deal. I'm going to get this cut out and then uh, get it cross broke and we'll go put it on the furnace. Alright, so we're over at the furnace now. We got our piece done and we're ready to put it in place. Okay, we got our S lock here, which we have to open up just a little bit. Um, so we can get our pieces fit in right. Um, okay. Now, so here you go. So you, uh, so you put your S lock on there. We're going to do our receiving side <coughs> out. That Those two pieces of S lock will line up. So, now, we may have to bend this up a little bit, but let's see if we can't get it in. Now remember, Keep this in mind. There is going to be a coil sitting here. It's not going to be this easy. You would have to slide it in place. And so, <clears throat> now, I'm off. But it looks like I'm off just a little bit. And that's okay. And the reason I am is because, remember, I was trying to hold that level up here and, and check it. Uh, and it was just kind of a little hard to do. So I was off just a little bit. But that's okay. I don't really, I don't care because this is just, you get the picture, and we're actually not bad. So there you go. And then our piece here is lined up with the front. Um, don't try that. So that's lined up with the front now. And then, uh, so now what we're gonna do, and now, I always start with the side. Like I said, I'm gonna reiterate. There's a coil sitting up here. It's not that easy to get in here. So the reason I want to start on this side is because you could you'll be able to, if you want to shoot a screw in here, now's the time to do it. Uh, now's the time to do it. So now we're gonna get our we're gonna get our measurement for this side over here. For this side. You can't see it, but for the right hand side of the furnace. And it's probably going to be a little different, the total length, the total height is going to be a little different from, um, from what this side is because our angle, remember, we're at two and a half inches or three, three inches on this side and three and a half on that side. So anyway, it's coming together. 
coming together. All right, before we get started putting our um, getting our measurements and stuff on this on the right hand side of the furnace, what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of ash lock in. I know on my center line transition I didn't do it, um, but this is just to show you that you can, and it's it's okay if you do. Um, I just you know a lot of times it just actually depends on how I feel at the time actually if you really want to know the truth whether I put a piece of ass lock there or not because you don't have to um, so now it's time to get our measurements and then so what we do is the same thing we get our level remember there's a coil right here uh, normally so you get your uh, <clears throat> get your level are you measured from your coil from here to there? It's right at. Make sure your your level. It's right at six and a quarter. So let me check that again. So we're to the edge there. Got our thing is our we're all leveled up. It's actually, it's like six and six and three eighths. So we'll do six and three eighths. See, so we was an eighth of an inch off, which we would have been able to lift up and shoot a screw in there at six and a half or six and a quarter. So let's do six and three eighths. Um, so we're gonna do the same, our same thing here, um, only we gotta be backwards. Um, so we're six and three eighths. Seven, three eighths, and eight and three eighths. So that's eight and three eighths. So that's our because our top is going to be the same, twenty one inches, and our bottom is going to be twenty one in the or twenty and um, what was it twenty and a half. A 19 and a half. Sorry, um, I was using the wrong. See, that's why I say you measure twice, cut once. So it's eight and three eighths. So our top measurement is what we're going to do. So here you go. I wish that we could use this six and a quarter inch piece because it actually looks like it'll fit. But it's okay. We'll be all right. So now let's pull our metal a little closer to us. Got plenty of room. Okay. So, same thing applies. This never changes. <clears throat> so we got our one inch, our seven and three eighths, and then our eight and three eighths. Okay. Same thing over here. One inch, seven three eighths, eight and three eighths. Draw your line. Get them measured up there, or straightened up, lined up, whatever you want to call it. Take the line. Same thing over here. Top. Alright, so that's that. I mean, our side piece, remember our top is against the wall. So that's 21 inches. Remember, we're doing this raw, right? So then we come across to the bottom. We do two and a half. Remember, we've got a two and a half inch offset. And we come over here. Let me measure again. We 
We are at 20 inches. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's two and a half. See, like I said, measure twice, cut once. See, so there's a mistake. We're not all perfect. So, <clears throat> uh, two and a half and 20 is 22 and a half. There you go. And the top is 21. There you go, 21 inches. So, make a little mark there, like so. Like so. Same thing over here. Make a little mark. There you go. That's going to be our side. This is going to be our inside. I got to do my lines on the inside like I like. So, there you go. Alright, so we have our. Uh, we got to cut a little piece of S lock. See, these are our little scrap pieces I've had around. So. Um, to there to there, so like I said, doesn't have to be perfect, but just something to uh, to get our metal to go into. Be careful, because you don't want to put your you don't want to shoot a piece of S lock down into the uh, blower wheel. In this case, we don't have a blower wheel, so uh, so you put your S lock on there. Like so. Now, see, we got to turn it around because we want our receiving end to be on the other side. Like so. Okay. And then we just slide this in here. Like so. Start our S lock. Get our S lock started. Let's, uh, let's get the back above, the, get the back flange above. There you go. So that's in place now. Make sure uh, everything's all hunky-dory. If not, we gotta open it up, so take your knife. Now it's open. You can slide that back, and push that back. It's like so. And there it is. We're back against the wall. Look, no room. Same thing back there. I've moved the furnace a little bit, so um, so it's not fitting 100% back there. You see, you've got a gap. But normally the furnace wouldn't be moving around, but I can move it around. Um, or I have them moving around by accident. So now our side pieces are done. Let me get the coil that's coil on top so we can get the rest of our measurements.